This week, I want to share with you guys some of my favorite spots to eat and to shop, especially vintage clothes in my hometown. These are questions that I've been receiving so much from you guys, and I really want to deliver and show you some of my favorite places. So let's go. So to start off, we're going to hit up some of my favorite thrift stores in town. And the first one we went to is called Atypic. The concept behind Atypic is a charity. It's, it supports charities through um, selling used clothes that people donate and creating jobs for people who don't have jobs and also offering clothing and fashion secondhand clothing to people with a lower budget or lower income. It's a chain all over Switzerland and they really curate and select pieces that are still in good conditions and then sell them at very low cost. The pieces that you can find in that store are usually not designer pieces. However, it can happen. So it's good to keep your eyes peeled. And and as part of the store, there's also a space for creators where local artists and designers can sell some of their creations like pouches, headbands, ceramics or bags made out of recycled material. And the clothing section is mostly organized by color, at least in this store. They also have kids clothes. They were also selling a few secondhand bikes. And I tried on a pair of like hiking running pants um, and a small bag. And I loved both of those pieces. And these were two pieces that I'd been looking for for a while and I hadn't found what I wanted. So, that just was the universe gifting me and that's what I love so much about thrifting is that sometimes you get such beautiful surprises when you'd like least expect it. The next place we went to is called La Boutique, which is my personal favorite one. This is also a curated vintage store with a lot of designer pieces, mostly designer pieces. I found a skirt from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, for vintage for a fraction of the cost and I've been wearing it multiple times since getting it. Um, this is definitely a place I'm going to keep going back to regularly as I know there's a lot of turnover. They've got lots of shoes and bags as well and also amazing outfits for like an event. So if I was to ever be invited to a wedding or some sort of event and I want to dress up and wear something special, but I don't want to buy something new, this would be the first place I'd go to. And the next place we went to is called Joa. It's a very small shop. There's not much in it, but the pieces are really lovely. There's lots of designer bags and then also a few dresses and blouses, maybe some pants and skirts as well. Mostly designer and higher prices, but also I, in my opinion, pretty fair prices considering the items are in very great condition, if not almost new conditions. And then the last uh, vintage store we went to for clothing is called Work Vintage. And this place is a lot more of like the typical vintage you would expect. It sells a lot of Levi's and Converse and some like vintage t-shirts. So it's a very much more like street style kind of vintage. If that's even what it's called, I'm not quite sure. The guy who owns it, Maxim, is very lovely, a very sweet, very helpful. And yeah, definitely go check it out if you're looking for some really great vintage denim. That would be my first place to recommend. And finally, the last place we went is Odile. So we're in front of Odile. Uh, which is a vintage shop, but this is not a clothing shop. So this is going to be a bit the exception of all the clothing and vintage shop. This is more of a design and art shop and they've got a very small but very curated selection. They also have a website so you can check already on there like what they're selling at the moment, what they have available. Maybe you can even reach out to them and see like what's coming in or if you're looking for like a specific piece, maybe they can help you find it. And um, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. So now the thrift and vintage shopping section of this video is done and I have put all of the recommendations and information about all the places mentioned down below in the description and now we're gonna go to head into the food section of this video starting off with one of my favorite places in Vevey called Gram. 
we're at Graham. It's a like coffee shop slash restaurant, and it's very lovely. We're having breakfast. We're having um, it's a toast, sourdough bread toast with um, green pea like guacamole mash thing really yummy very creamy egg and some side salad and some juice well some big juice um, and some tea and they also have really good coffee and um, I love it here because I actually love how it's like really in the town and there's no really cars here and it's beautiful like for a morning breakfast because you've got the light like that's right there and they also have really good food during the day or for an evening date it's a lovely place and very like laid back you know and very good high quality ingredients so we love that we love that we love that my next favorite place to go to in Vevey is called Osep d'Or. This is one of my favorite restaurants for a lunch or for dinner with friends um, and also to work at as a coffee shop because the interior is really beautiful and it has a lot of little corners that you can sit at very comfortably and have a lot of space, which most places in town don't have. It has really amazing seasonal and local food, really delicious pastries, some amazing fresh orange juice and lots of good coffee and warm drinks. I love that they cook seasonally, so every week they have a concept where they change their menu according to what the local and seasonal foods are. They also organize weekly jam sessions and I love their intention in bringing all different people from different backgrounds into one place. The next food place I recommend is called World of Fresh Food and also called Woof. And this is a really great place if you want to eat something fresh like a salad or a Buddha bowl. They also have amazing chia pudding or smoothies or smoothie bowls if you're feeling like something sweet. The last place I want to share with you guys today is this really like hole in the wall, which is a Syrian uh, like takeaway. It's not a, really a restaurant. It's got like a few spots outside where we can sit, um, and then most people just like take food away, which is what we did. Um, I got a wrap, but I already ate it. Um, and this guy has been here for like over 20 years, and his food is very traditional, very affordable just really delicious like you can really taste like it's really homemade and um, made with love and always has a big smile and just is super friendly um, it's kind of like a tradition in Vevey to come there and when it's closed like apparently a lot of people show up even though it's closed and like you know like his maybe like the times he's open is not always like super usual so check that if you come here um, but yeah I'll show you a little bit of the food um, ideally you'd want to bring your own Tupperware or, or like container or the wraps can be wrapped in like foil so um, yeah if you want to avoid like plastic I would say bring your own container this was a very spontaneous decision so I didn't bring one but um, yeah this is like one of the like this is a vegetarian platter and then he offers like lots of wraps as well which is really good I buy martini from here and they've got like really good dates so anything like Middle Eastern that you might be looking for like kind of staples and essentials this is a really good place to come and um, support like someone locally and um, yeah it's really lovely to like I always bump into people I know also in this shop and it's just really lovely to see like the variety of the, the community and the generations that come in this place and how it really like mixes like all of the community of this town and even like foreigners who come to visit but I think it's because it's a place that's so like a bit hidden and not so obvious I'm sharing it with you guys so that like you know about it when you come okay so that's it for today I hope you enjoy this video I know it was requested for a very very long time and yeah, I hope it answered some of your questions and some of the recommendations that you wanted from me about Switzerland or at least the part of Switzerland that I know best. 
and if you'd like to find out more places in Vevey that I highly recommend and that I think are also worth checking but that were not mentioned in this video I made a whole blog post about places mentioned in this video along with some other extra ones that were not mentioned in here on my website my website was created with Squarespace and I've been working with Squarespace and have had my website with Squarespace for the last three years and it's been the most beautiful journey in having a, a website and creating it from scratch and Squarespace beautiful design templates made that process super easy from the beginning. Squarespace offers some amazing analytic tools which can help you track your audience and statistics if you have an online store for example which is also possible to create through Squarespace it helps you get an idea of where your sales are going to what kind of people are buying your product and what products are best performing another thing that I love about Squarespace is that I can link any of my social media platforms onto my Squarespace website which is a tool I've been using so much personally since my work is on social media and it just made it very simple to put everything in one place onto my website and for anyone who want to have an overview of all the work that I do at everywhere else on the internet onto the website um, then they can have easily access to that my podcast my Instagram my YouTube videos and then extra articles that I don't share anywhere else including this one so if you've been thinking about creating your own website, if there's a project you've been working on and it needs a website, a web page to sell whatever you're creating or just showcase what you have created, Squarespace is a great place to start. With the link squarespace.com slash you'll get 10% off your order of your first website or domain name. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and a big thank you to all of you who've been using this link and therefore also supporting this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here and I'll see you very soon. Bye.